for the right triangle below, find the measure of the angle in degrees to the nearest hundredth. So our goal is to find the measure of this angle here, let's call this angle theta. And now let's find the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse in relation to angle theta. So if this is the angle theta, then the opposite side is this side here, it's a length of 18 units. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, because this is the right angle, this side here is the hypotenuse with a length of 22 units. And the adjacent side to angle theta is the side of the angle that's not the hypotenuse, and therefore the adjacent side is this side here with an unknown length. So because our goal is to find the measure of angle theta, and we're given the length of the opposite side and the length of the hypotenuse, we will use the sine function to determine the measure of angle theta. This is because sine theta is equal to the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the length of the hypotenuse. So using our right triangle, we know that sine theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which gives us 18 20 seconds. But notice how this fraction does simplify because 18 and 22 share a common factor of two. 18 20 seconds simplifies to 9 elevenths. So now we know that sine theta is equal to 9 elevenths. We need to solve this equation with theta by undoing sine by taking the arc sine or inverse sine of both sides of the equation. Let's take the inverse sine of both sides. Simplifying on the left, inverse sine of sine theta simplifies to just theta. This is because inverse sine and sine undo each other. So now we know that theta is equal to inverse sine of 9 elevenths. And now we go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation for angle theta in degrees to the hundredths place value. We first make sure the calculator is in degree mode by pressing the mode key. And notice how degree is highlighted. If degree is not highlighted, we use the arrows to go down to degree and press enter. And then we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. And we enter inverse sine 9 elevenths. If we press second sine, we do get the inverse sine function. And then we enter 9 divided by 11, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how there's a three in the thousandths place value, a third decimal place, and therefore we round down Theta is approximately 54.90 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.